Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and today I thought I would chat with you guys a little bit about kind of the direction I've been going lately with my channel, what I'm doing with it, why I'm doing it. Now, a lot of people will be like, well, we don't care about that. Well, if you didn't care about it, you wouldn't have clicked on this video. Anyone who clicked on this video probably does care about it, and I do this a couple times a year. I kind of sit down and just debrief my audience and say, hey, this is what I'm doing with the channel. All right, people have noticed uh, I'm generally only doing one normal informative every day. I'm putting up all of my workouts. I'm even doing more shirtless workouts, right? We could have some accountability. Uh, I'm doing more current events. You'll say like, why? Why the current events? Uh, because people care, they watch them, they like them. At the end of the day, why do we all make YouTube videos? We make YouTube videos to get views. Our channels get views. And it does work. I mean, people can argue about my methods all they want, but this channel gets a lot of views. Um, and I don't mean in each individual video. Of course not every video gets a lot of views. The sum total of it does. I have over 71 million views. Go look at some of your favorite YouTubers who might even have half a million subscribers and go look at their views and come back and compare it. There are people with 500, 600,000 subs with only 30 million views. All right, I'm getting a million plus every month. Um, so people clearly like it. They seem to encourage it. And I know a lot of people want me to troll a little harder, but you know, I'm kind of at the point to where I've just, I feel like I've matured as a person and as an individual that I really only want to give honest criticism. You know, I'm at a point to where if I'm going to discuss what other people are saying in the fitness world, then I need to be fair about it. What do I mean by fair? Even if I don't like a person and they do something good, or they do something noteworthy, or they really get something right, I need to acknowledge that. You know, because it's about being fair. There's no person out here who gets everything right or one person who gets everything wrong. In other words, there's no person that you're going to meet who is universally good or universally evil. Every single person has redeeming qualities. I don't care who they are, right? I don't care who they are. No matter what bad things you think they've done, there's probably some redeeming things they do. There are people who have wronged me who probably someone else in their life thinks that they're an amazing, wonderful person. And maybe there's some person who they have really changed their life on a deeply, truly beneficial level, and maybe the world's a better place for them having been in it, even if they've wronged me personally, and vice versa. You know, there could be someone out there who's done a lot of really good things and maybe helped a lot of people in the world a better place for it, who's done some pretty bad stuff, because none of us are perfect. None of us are saints or devils, really, at the end of the day. You know what, and, and we've got to look at all the individual fitness YouTubers like that and step back and say, hey, why does this person have an audience? If they have an audience, they probably have something redeeming about them, right? No matter how bad we might think that most of what they're saying is or doing, they clearly have something redeeming. They clearly have something that people like or they wouldn't have fans. Nobody watches a channel purely for the train wreck. Well, a few exceptions. But largely, you know, and you have to take that case by case. Each thing that that person does or each video that they make um, I'm trying to be unbiased in that regard of really giving them a fair chance and then saying, okay, if they get some stuff right, give credit. If they get something wrong or they're conning people or they're ripping people off or they're pulling some BS, call them on it because they need to be called on it. And there have been times when I needed to be called on a little bit of the things, you know, and it happens and I have to accept that. We all have to accept that. We all make mistakes. We all get things wrong. We all occasionally say something stupid. We all do something that uh, we probably shouldn't do, every single one of us. And we just have to roll with the punches. And that's kind of the way I'm going with my channel. I'm trying to stick with the current. Um, I feel like things I've done in the past on here, I've apologized for and moved forward. And I don't really talk about a lot of things on here anymore. What I focus on with myself at this point is where my current training is going, what I'm doing right now. Accountability with it. You know, I upload every single workout that I do right now. All my workouts. You guys are getting like four or four workouts a week. I don't think anyone else in YouTube fitness is doing that these days record every workout and discuss what they did and why with calibrated plates so you guys can see how much weight they have on the bar i mean i've color coded calibrated plates no ambiguity as to what i'm lifting um every work set's filmed the only stuff doesn't get filmed is all my extra little ab work and lower back work and face pulls i do every day you know things like that but i kind of tell everyone that's what i'm doing my gpp work but my real sessions my actual training on all my my primary lifts my accessory lifts my assistance movements they all get filmed day in day out um, and I'm doing a lot of them shirtless because, hey, you know, if people want to see changes. Uh, they People need to realize I'm, I'm a strength athlete. I'm an older guy. I'm in my 40s compared to a lot of the people watching. There's some of you who are older than me, and you're always happy to point that out. A lot of you guys are like, I don't know, I'm 55, and 
think I can hang with you. And hey, you know what? That's awesome. That's great. I hope to be there when I'm 55. You know, that would be my dream. If I could still be as strong as I am today at 55 and not be fat and be healthy, that would be fantastic. I'd be happy about that. And I think most of us would. You know, most of us would. Um, but yeah, there's an accountability there that people can see. There's nothing really hiding. I mean, yeah, I'm wearing a belt. But that ends up making some of my loose skin roll up over the belt sometimes. So I'm, I'm in a belt and my running shorts so people can see what changes are happening. They can see if I'm gaining muscles, gaining fat, losing fat, whatever's going on. People get a pretty good idea because it's all kind of there. So they're getting at least uh, one lift every week. I'm doing shirtless like that. So people can kind of see what's happening in three dimensions. They can see me from the different angles, training and moving. Uh, and they can see what's going on. You know, I and mean, I'm not really a physique guy. I am a performance guy. But people can see what changes are happening right there in real time, and it's all documented. You know, and, and I think for me, that's the direction I want to go with my own fitness in the channel. People can just watch it. It's all there for you. It's documented. I talk about it. You know, it's up for discussion. And outside of that, you know, I'm giving everyone an informative video every day, and then I'm doing a lot of current events. And, and I think that the current events that a lot of people like, and I like doing them more because I don't like trolling super hard. I've gotten at a point in my life to where just trolling other channels for the sake of trolling them, I really don't enjoy it. Yeah, it gets views. Yeah, people like it. I would rather my videos be useful, you know, give honest criticism, give fair criticism. And now that fair criticism sometimes might require me to knock someone's dick in the dirt. It might require me to be a dick because they really are pulling some nonsense. And that's big in this industry. There's a ton of that in this industry. But I'm trying to be fair about it, keeping a little bit of humor in there, but I'm trying to be fair and just give honest assessments of what other people are saying and doing and what are they saying? Is it feasible? Is it workable? And I'm always going to have my own bias in it, but you know what? So do they. We all have our own bias, but I think at the end of the day, that's, that's what's valuable in the fitness community and schools of thought and whether you're dealing with coaches or experts or even the layman or the athlete. They all have their different experiences, they have their viewpoints, they have their research, they have their information, their data, whether it's hard data or anecdote, but everyone has their bias and perspectives. They have the different things that they've observed over the years through one method or another, whether it works or how well it works and, uh, and which sort of people and whatever else. And I think discussing those things is valuable, it's useful. And really, in a way, my current events have turned into be more of, more of a roundtable of discussion because sometimes those people come back who I make the video on and they want to discuss stuff. And, you know, we can have a little bit of back and forth and uh, creates other content. And it keeps everyone really talking about the fitness aspects of it. And that's the direction I go. I kind of leave, for the most part, for the most part, I don't care about these other people's personal lives so much. I really don't. Um... But that's turned into a real big mess, and I mean, I've had experienced my own set of it, and that's why I keep my personal life off the internet completely now. Like, literally every aspect of my private life, other than my lifting, I keep it off the internet. So if you're hearing about it, it's probably not real. Um, and I try to stay out of other people's personal lives, because at the end of the day, I really don't care who a various fitness YouTuber is banging, sleeping with, cheated on. Uh, I don't care about any of that drama in their day-to-day -day life because it doesn't really matter. What matters is is what information are they putting out? What are they putting out that's good? What are they putting out that's bad? I want to focus more on the actual fitness and training and, and products and everything else that people are selling, what they're doing, and trying to give you know fair assessments of everything at the end of the day. Um, and again, calling out the scam artists, which I've always done. People Are they scamming you? Are they conning you? Are they pushing some BS or, or are they selling you some truth? And are they selling that truth at a reasonable price? Are they, are they selling truth for something when they should have put it for free? Or are they overcharging for something they could have just slapped in a video and done for free? And there are times I'll call that out on occasion too. You know, because at the end of the day, that's what it's about. Consumer reviews, consumer reports, trying to be relatively unbiased. But keep in mind, we're all biased. Every one of us are biased. Every one of us who are up here discussing these topics, we're giving it from our biased opinion. And all of you out there, you're going to interpret it from your biased opinion. And at the end of the day, you know, I think it's important to get a variety of schools of thought here, a variety of viewpoints, and find your own personal truth in there somewhere in it. Find the good data, kind of sort through the weed and the chaff. And again, I think it's, it's valuable. I think it's useful. People seem to enjoy that. People really seem to enjoy me doing reviews of other people's videos. Do they turn into troll fests sometimes? Yeah, they do. 
but I try to keep that to a minimum. I'm occasionally going to have a little fun with Jerry Ward's Cocoa Puff. There are times when I have to do a little bit of joking. But for the most part, I'm trying to keep it real, trying to keep it honest, and just be fair in my criticisms, you know. And if, if I need to be a dick about something that someone's doing, I'm going to be a dick. But if it's someone I don't like who genuinely says something insightful or valuable or I've had a beef with them in the past, you know what? I think it's fair to still give them credit for what they get right and do right. And uh, again, when they do something wrong and get it wrong, they're to go ahead and be critical of that as well. Just trying to be fair in it. I don't know, guys. The direction my channel is gone. I mean, um, I'm trying to be more accountable with what I'm doing personally. Focus on what I can show and what I can't. You know, it's like there's no point in me talking about something, a lift or whatever I may have done in whatever year. If I don't have evidence of it, I don't think it's really that relevant today. I shouldn't really push it, and I don't. I don't do stuff like that. It's just not relevant anymore. We talk about meats that I can prove I've won. I can show medals. <laughs> uh, we can have meat results, invites to whatever event. Show my lifts day to day and kind of stick on moving forward instead of getting hung up in, in my own past and what I have or haven't done as far as my own training and everything goes because that's that's not getting me anywhere. And it doesn't help any of us. doesn't help any of you move forward. We all need to be looking at our own training objectively um, being honest about where we're going with it, what we're doing. Um, and for me, I'd have a certain amount of accountability there with it. But at the end of the day, you know, I'm a real guy. I'm an everyday guy in a lot of ways. Yeah, I'm, I'm decently strong, um, reasonably big. Uh, I train pretty hard and I have my own methodologies and I apply scientific methods and a lot of that to it. But, you know, well, I think a lot of people out there can relate to that. You know, in a lot of ways, I'm an everyday guy just trying to get strong and fit and take my own life experiences with all of it and give the best information and criticisms that I can. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I will talk to you guys next time.